Hello, well, I'm going to have a porch swing chat right now, but the topic today is uh, a spin-off on my popular video on how a poor man can buy cheap property. Well, in this video, I'm going to uh, give more instruction on how to find uh, over-the-counter prop surplus properties in your area, so stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Um, I produced a video. Uh, it went live probably last November uh, 2017. And that video has gained in popularity because it struck a chord with so many people on uh, uh, um, it, who are living in the same situation and predicament I was living in. The video, if you haven't seen it already, it's called How a Poor Man Can Buy Cheap Property. Uh, it documents how when we became homeless and we eventually worked our way through homelessness, I got skills to get gainfully employed. I finally got a job. I am now gainfully employed and have been for some time now. And this is all in spite of having a little bit of a disability. And I guess that struck a chord with a lot of people, especially those who are homeless or who those who have uh, disabilities. And it's just encouraging so many people. I'm just really humbled by the encouragement I'm able to give people. But this is an additional information for you in exactly uh, how to find um, properties in your vicinity that are affordable. Now, this is the same kind of program I went through within my county where I live within my state. Now, uh, this map will show you which states have this program. Unfortunately, not all states have the program. Uh, I'm sorry for you if you're uh, able to move to an area or even be creative and find properties within those uh, states. Uh, let me know if you can find any. Anyway, here's how I found the list for you guys to check out for yourselves. First of all, I want to give kudos to Megan Johnson, one of my viewers, who cued me in on this uh, way of finding it. First thing you do is go to your Google search, type in the search engine um, over the counter deed states, and the following will populate. These are a list of different uh, searches that compile different states that have within each state they have counties that uh, gives you a link to be able to go to their assessor's office and uh, seek out a list of properties that they're selling. Most often these are t uh, tax seizures and they're uh, oftentimes the, uh, all you owe is the back taxes and maybe a, a, a fee of some sort or another. Now, Megan was mentioning the largest fee she found was a $1,500 service and filing fee, whatever. Well, it, that's not much comparatively to what properties are going for uh, these days. So, that's basically how I found out how this property was available for sale. Just by chance of googling and please don't ask me to take you by the hand and help you with this uh, find somebody who may be more computer literate uh, within your uh, your support group that's local there and have them help you uh, because I simply have my hands full with what I'm doing right now we're dealing with two major forest fires one of them is the largest fire in the nation right now <coughs> excuse me as you can tell from the cough because it is really smoky and it's getting smokier out here on the back porch I'm gonna have to move inside pretty quick but yeah that is just simple instruction take advantage of it and good luck on searching out your a real property uh, that you can purchase and for those of you who uh, have a disability um, and are unsure of your capabilities um, 
number one to buy cheap property or to buy property you, you should have an income some kind of an income save up your money find the property uh, I would say get a good five to ten thousand dollars saved up if that's impossible for you uh, find creative ways to uh, earn extra money uh, in spite of your disabilities because like myself I utilize some programs that were available in my area to be able to gain skills to become employed in spite of my disabilities and we focused on my abilities rather than my disabilities and that's how I was able to get to work in the medical uh, field we used or actually I uh, went and approached two state funded programs number one was job council and number two was what was called Oregon Department of Vocational Rehabilitation. Um, those two programs I went and signed up for, but hey, they worked together on my behalf and they got me and paid for a program in which I could gain skills to become a marketable, gainfully employed citizen. And boy, I tell you what, it feels good to be able to work and go to work. And it took time. It really does. It takes time. You're not gonna. Uh, you should never expect a change overnight. You just have to press forward and be diligent, and uh, move your own mountains. Don't ask me to move your mountains for you. Like I said, I've got too much on my plate. I'm giving you the tools to go out there and do it. Get her done. Oh, that's scary. The wind's picking up, and a tree just fell just over the fence line rotten tree and the smoke's getting thicker and I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and go inside. I'm Jerry Hansen your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for showing up and joining me on this special video. It's an special edition on how a poor man can buy cheap property and giving you guys some valuable tools to go forward with your lives with or without a disability and even if you're poor show, giving you tools on how to find inexpensive property and how to get that leg up. I'll leave some links down below and you can go ahead and click on those links. I have some more informational videos on this very topic and also I'll leave some links on those Google searches if you're having a hard time with your Google search. And you guys can follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, Google Plus, and Blogger. That's where I primarily post. And I'll see you guys in more videos. Bye-bye.